Hey Crusaders, I'm AJ. And I'm Julius. And today Julius wants to bring up a theory about the Dark Knight Rises. So, Julius, what's up? Okay, so everyone has seen Dark Knight Rises. If you haven't, obviously spoilers. But, you know, you yeah, would be don't, watching this. Don't be stupid. If, if you haven't seen yeah. it, just like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah. don't watch the rest yeah. of this video. So, you know, after you see the movie, you're, it's evident. You're like, oh, Batman survived. He's in that cafe with Selena Kyle. Everything's great. You know, we got Nightwing or whatever you want to call him. But I say no to that. Batman did die in The Dark Knight Rises, and this is why. Yeah, okay. Um, so you got the that end credit se- or the end sequence. Oh, he has that autopilot on. Um, so he had that installed, and everyone's like, oh, no, he must have jumped out at that last minute. Yeah. I don't take it like that. Um, I take it... That when you look you look at the Christopher Nolan movies, every movie the end is very deep, and it's very definitely you know, like, Memento, Prestige, yeah. Inception. They're all the like Dark that. Knight. It's like you think about what the, the message you're trying to send to you, and, it, and that's why the movie's so great. It's so deep. And if you mm-hmm. look at the Dark Knight Rises, just in that base thing, it's like, oh, Batman survived. What's you know what what's the message you're trying to send here? And it's nothing unless you look at it the way I am. At, you know, as I think I think that's what they're trying to say <laughs> is that. Batman had he installed that autopilot, you know, yeah. he fixed it. Um and you see during that before that battle he's talking to Selena Kyle. She knows he's Batman. You know, she 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 knows he's Bruce Wayne. Uh, yeah. But yeah. he's talking to her in that <laughs> She knows voice. he's Batman. Oh, what, you in the bad suit? <laughs> she knows yeah. he's Bruce Wayne. Yeah. And he's still he's still talking in that voice. You know, there's no reason for him to talk well, what like about that. It? Oh, okay. Right, because you know he's only talking to her, so you know. Yeah, not, like, not when he's with. Jim yeah, he's like, you don't owe these people anything. He's like, not everything, not yet. And you know, you don't okay. have to talk like that. But it's a running theme that you brought up before we did, started filming that Batman has kind of is he's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, is that mm-hmm. Alfred gave him that speech earlier in the the film where he's saying the only way you see an end to your journey is you dying. Right, you're in this till you die, and that's the only way that you're going to stop being Batman. Yeah, and that's okay. when Alfred leaves, and you see that kind of manifesting Bruce Wayne. He's turning into this like Batman is no longer Bruce Wayne's alter ego. You he know, is Batman. Yeah, yeah, he is Batman, and then Bruce Wayne is his alter ego, and that he has the ability at the end to jump out of the bat of the the Batwing or the the Bat. Yeah. Um, he's flying that over the bay. Mm-hmm. You see the countdown. You see him inside it as he's over the bay. And he doesn't jump. It 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 zooms out. You got that pan shot. Yeah. And it just and shows all the kids back, on the bus. Yep. And it blows up. Mm-hmm. Um, and for a movie universe that is grounded in reality and prides itself being realistic, you know, Bruce Wayne or Batman would be incinerated easily, you know. Um, if he jumped out, in that he had the ability to jump out, but he didn't. That's the only way he wanted to end this story. And that when Alfred sees that incarnation of, you know, he sees Bruce Wayne at that cafe, is that he sees him that he ended his journey, right? Alfred ended his journey. He goes there, and then he's like, I see Bruce Wayne is finally at peace, just like Alfred is. So is that more like an afterlife? I don't think so. I think it's it's you're looking through it out of the eyes of Alfred. You're seeing like he's he's at peace, right? Batman has or Bruce Wayne has ended the journey the way he sees fit. Um, and that I think I, I I just don't I don't think he it's it's like oh a coincidence he goes to the same cafe the same time the same day the same year the same everything because you know Alfred never mentions the cafe that you know. He's going to, right? It's it's yeah. Uh-huh. I, I feel like it's it's supposed to mean something. I don't entirely know what it's supposed to mean, but I mean, you know, I think when you think about, um, you know, well, Alfred never said, but it, it is Batman. And even though this in this mm. Nolan universe, he wasn't that much of a detective. He was still very intelligent, and so yeah. I mean, I wouldn't sure, be surprised sure. if he could figure sure. it out. Yeah, and I want I want to think that you're right. Because I remember talking to my friends, you know, before we saw Dark Knight Rises, we were all like, he has to die. Like, there's no way they could end this without him dying. Um, Just because it would be, like, the perfect way to top off Dark Knight, which was, like, an incredible movie. We were like, 
Bruce Wayne Batman has to die. And so when he didn't, or it appeared that he didn't, um, you know, me and my yeah. friends, we were bittersweet about it. Yeah. It's so... It was such a... Like, in that, that whole ending, I've never had that type of emotional, like, fluctuation in during a movie. Like, I think ever. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, he's got stabbed and I was, like, just getting choked up. Um, but he... I think what I think what happened in uh, this is I don't base this on uh, there's no no fact, but I I suspect that let's I think Christopher Nolan and David Gordon turned in their draft of the script, yeah. And then Warner Brothers like you're not going to kill Batman. Batman is you know he's our number one hero, number one character right now in you know the world. Yeah, you can't kill him. So I I suspect that this is maybe a way that they did. It's like oh he's alive, but to people who read into it. And think about it, um, like me, who thinks too much about Batman. Yeah. Um, that this is a way to like examine and go deep into that ending because every movie is deep that Christopher Nolan does. I'm gonna have to go watch this again. Yeah, I I've mean, watched the ending. I watched it Friday because thinking about this. Yeah, and so I mean, I want to go. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm not convinced yet. Yeah, it's, but, it's but, yeah, it's totally not 100. percent It's whatever you guys think. Yeah, and I think that's another cool thing about Nolan films is it is. Um, for the most part, up for interpretation. Oh, yeah, that's the best. Um, and so that's really cool, like, you know, with Prestige. Spoilers, okay, do not, like, if you've seen, you have to see every Nolan movie from, like, here on out. If you haven't, I'm going to just spoil all of I haven't seen Prestige. Of, I'm just, okay, whatever, you know what, <laughs> you need to go. Yeah. Uh, guys, I think that's all we have for you today. Like, comment, subscribe, check out our Twitter and our blog. I'm AJ. I'm Julius. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay ace. Thank <laughs> you.